Hey everyone, this is Nate from Nintendo Prime, and we have some great news, sort of, maybe, it's kind of strange news, about the 35th anniversary Mario Collection All-Stars 2, whatever it ends up being called, 3D remasters that supposedly exist, I mean, do they at this point, I don't know. But before we get into it, I want to remind you of our brand new giveaway for the month of September. We are giving away a Switch Lite. Yes, your color choice even, although obviously special edition is not included. Uh, yeah, all you need to do to enter is click on the social man link down in the description. Uh, it's going to be at the very top of the description, and it all just requires that you subscribe to the channel, and then there's some additional ways to enter after that. So, uh, good luck, and we'll announce the winner for that at the end of the month. The winner for last month's giveaway will be announced later today. Now, oh boy, let's, let, let, let's get into this. See, there's been rumors galore. This, like, goes back to April, I think, even of this year, about a 35th anniversary Mario collection. Uh, it's been rumored for a long, long time. It was supposed to be revealed at some sort of direct back in spring. Didn't happen. Now, recent things are saying Nintendo was going to reveal it at E3, but then E3 didn't happen. So, what the hell is going on with this game? Uh, there was supposed to be some big direct last week, according to Nate the Hate, that didn't happen. Uh, so, what's going on? Well... We have some news on that, and it comes from Video Game Chronicle and Nate the Hate. But I can understand being skeptical of Nate the Hate after the general direct snafu last week. But this is corroborated now. This is additional sources. This isn't just Nate the Hate. So let's look at this quick. So here you see it says, Mario remasters have been delayed beyond the series' 35th birthday, it's claimed. Uh, now, remember, beyond the 35th birthday doesn't mean beyond this year. Uh, the 35th birthday is in September, so it's this month. Um, so, according to the, the uh, Nintendo podcast, Nate the Hate, which most recently correctly outed both August's Indie World Showcase and our Nintendo Direct Mini before they were announced. He did do that. That's a fact. Uh, as first reported by Video Game Chronicles in March. So, March, not April. Um, the Mario Switch remasters are set to see Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy release as part of an anniversary compilation originally planned to coincide with the mascot's 35th birthday on September 13th, 2020. A deluxe version of the Wii U's 3D World is also planned. According to credited Nintendo insider Nate, this is Nate the Hate, and, and corroborated by VGC's own sources. Nintendo's original plan for the 3D collection was a June E3 announcement and celebration leading up to the planned opening of the Super Nintendo World theme park in Japan. However, these plans were eventually disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. With E3 2020 canceled and the Nintendo theme park's opening postponed in a potential Further disruption, Nate claimed the Switch remasters would now release beyond Mario's actual birthday month and closer to Christmas. Here are the exact quotes. I think now it's going to be positioned more as a holiday game than as they had originally planned. I believe the original plan was that the 3D collection was going to come out in September had these games been announced in June. Then we probably would have had 3D World Deluxe follow it in either October or maybe even early November. Now that is completely scrapped. Um, so all those releases may have slipped. The insider indicated the announcement of both 3D remasters and 3D World Deluxe would happen in September to coincide with the 35th anniversary. Then, we're potentially looking at the 3D collection either being early October or the 3D collection is going to come out in November and be positioned as the prime holiday title with a Mario-themed console, dock, and all of that. I think you're going to see 3D World Deluxe get delayed out of the 35th anniversary party and it's going to come out in January of 2021. This is obviously uh, extremely interesting information here because... Up until this point, we had not known about any um, particular plans with this game beyond it just existing. Uh, and having a Mario-themed console makes a lot of sense, especially for the 35th anniversary. But honestly, this signifies to me that Nintendo's plans have massively shifted this year. Massively shifted. Whatever big holiday title they had planned, be it Breath of the Wild 2 or, or whatever the hell they had going on, clearly is not coming this year. Maybe it was Odyssey 2 for all we know. It's not coming this year. There is a high chance that if 
And I have to say if, because none of us, like everyone's talking about these remasters existing. Nobody's saying that they've seen these remasters existing. The idea here is that Nintendo could position this now as their big holiday title. And to me, it's a mistake. I'm always going to hold out hope that this isn't the holiday title, that this is, I don't know, coming out in October with Pikmin 3 Deluxe or something, and they have something else in store for November. Because to me, personally, as awesome as Mario 64 and, and Sunshine and Galaxy, and even to throw Galaxy 2 in there, as awesome as those games are, they're not new games. You usually do not lead your holiday with a non-new game unless it happens to be um, a particular remaster that's absolutely insane, like, you know, the Final Fantasy VII remake. Again, though, um, that's a remake, not a remaster. Big difference. I, I honestly, I don't know if this is what Nintendo's doing, but because of the COVID situation, it would make sense if this was like their fallback plan. And that's why we haven't heard anything yet. Now, what's peculiar is we're two months away from the holidays. We usually know what the big holiday game is before two months before, but we also usually know the price of next gen systems more than two months before they are coming. We also tend to know what the launch lineup is for next gen systems to more than two months before they come out. We are at a tipping point in September where it's now or never for all of these companies, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. It's now or never. We're going to get prices this month. We're going to get launch lineups this month. We're going to get whatever the hell Nintendo's holiday plans are. If it happens to not be this, there's going to be something besides Pikmin 3 Deluxe. We're going to get that stuff now, right freaking now in the next four weeks. <laughs> so Stay tuned for that. There's been rumors galore, of course, for directs all over again. There's been the September 3rd date floated out there this Thursday. Uh, we would obviously find out tomorrow if that's going to be the case. Um, or maybe we walk into this Nintendo and they're just going to ghost drop a direct and we don't even know it's coming. Um, there's been rumors of directs later this month. Obviously, uh, PlayStation events. We now know there's an Ubisoft Forward coming up later this month as well. This is going to be a killer month for gaming news as Gamescom is wrapped up. And now we're entering into um, basically the big lead up to next gen and Nintendo's holiday plans. Uh, so stay tuned, folks. It's going to be an exciting month uh, to be a gamer in general. Uh, Nintendo fan-wise, if it's just the Mario stuff... Uh, maybe a bit of a letdown, but, you know, you got to remember that uh, Jeff Grubb was very adamant that we would get a general Nintendo Direct this month. So even if the general Direct is focused on the 3D remasters and and uh, obviously um, Super Mario 3D World Deluxe, which personally at this point is probably a January game. I've been calling it a January game for a while. I feel like it's a January 21 game. It doesn't mean we're not going to see more games that are coming out in 2021. That's the exciting thing. Like, we could actually see new games. It's just they're not coming this year. But they're going to, you know, give us what we are getting and then tease us for the future. So that's what I think would happen. There's no there, – put it this way. There's no reason to have a general direct for just 3D remasters and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. There's no reason. There's absolutely none. They could, they could literally just drop a video and call it a day for those. Um, but they're going to have more to show even though it won't be 2020 games. Um this, that, this is my personal take. I mean, you guys can let me know what you think about this all down in the comments below. I mean, there's actually prevalent thoughts out there. I've seen some polls out there where people just think these these 3D remaster collection doesn't even exist. And there's some logic behind that because these are big titles that Nintendo would traditionally, if they're going to remaster them, especially at N64 game, uh, they could literally sell them for 60 bucks a pop. Putting them all together for 60 is not what Nintendo does traditionally. But Nintendo has done collection packs before. We do have Super Mario All-Stars to look back in the SNES days. But the SNES days were a long-ass time ago, dude. The 90s are long gone. So I don't know that this is the same Nintendo that's willing to create a budget collection like that. Because at 60 bucks, that would be a budget collection of at least three, if not four, major all-time great Mario games. Uh, but, again, we are living in... Nintendo's world, and you know what? I might just be a Nintendo girl. Or maybe... I take back everything I just said. I'm so sorry. Anyways, folks, I am Nintendo Robojet from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter that Switch Lite giveaway. 
down in the dang description. And I'm going to catch all you guys in the next video.